by the account of Pani, um, he'd say to them, look, look at what it is. You've got to see what you're looking at. It's not just a matter of casually looking at, but you need to think of what you are actually seeing. And I'm mimicking Pani telling me, just looking at the fence. See how it's like this. He didn't, he didn't direct them on what to do, but he said, you've got to look. What does it look like? How can you put that on paper? So although he wasn't an artist himself, he taught the children to see what they were looking at. So he clearly, he clearly had a, a feeling for that, art, that artistic process of transferring from what you see to what is on the paper. And, and it did take time. But the kids practiced and practiced, and these six or eight boys, the key ones, the key artists, as I've called them, became totally obsessed by it, totally obsessed. And that's why they wanted to have, be able to do it at school at night or do it in their dormitory at night. And Mr. White gave them a lantern, uh, just a hurricane lantern, against the orders of native welfare. This is the, by the account of the children. The correspondence may be slightly different on this, but this is how, this is how Pani and Mickey both corroborated the story, was that they were, they were, they wanted to do it, first off they did it, wanted to do it at school, but then they wanted to do it in their dormitory. 